Hi, Aries. The details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. Let's see what's going on with you, Aries. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. What is going on with Aries? What is the message for Aries? Okay, Seven of Swords. So somebody being deceptive around you. We have this Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see. There's an offer coming in. Okay, from someone who is deceptive. So be careful accepting this offer. Okay, we have this Ace of Cups, a love offer. So someone has a strong interest in you, Aries, but they're deceptive. Aquarius energy, water energy. This person wants a new beginning with you, but I feel like they haven't they haven't finished out a cycle elsewhere. Yeah, they're still giving to another situation. Six of Pentacles, and then we have the Chariot. Cancerian energy. Hmm. This person is really hoping that you're going to believe them. Okay, this is someone that comes across as they have a very strong presence to them okay they like for people to believe that they're strong they have integrity but this is someone the six of pentacles is not giving me generous generosity with the seven of swords it's giving me confusion it's like someone here wants to lead you on why are they doing this queen of pentacles because you have all the qualities they're looking for in another person fortune they haven't ended a cycle in their life they're having a hard time walking away from a karmic situation they're having a hard time learning their lessons that's why they're you know they're be going to be deceptive toward you with this love offer because they want you but at the same time they're having a hard time closing out a cycle okay so let's see what does Aries think of all that? Three of Cups. Why the Three of Cups? Three of Swords. 33, 37, 31 could be significant to someone. But I'm just getting like, you don't want to be a part of a third party, but this is clearly making you happy that somebody here is reuniting with you. But it's also heartbreaking at the same time. Okay. How do they see Aries? How do they see you, Aries? Nine of Cups, the sun. They see you as a wish. They see you as, you know, being their... They see you as where their happiness is. How do they feel about Aries? That Leo energy here. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. How do they feel about Aries right now? We got Pisces energy. Well, how they feel is they want a new beginning with you. So it's like someone doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity with you. But there's something hidden here with the moon. There's there's lies. There's definitely some sort of deceit still taking place. And as this person is feeling like offering you something, but it's almost like they want to leave you in the dark as well. Like they want to shut you out of another aspect of their life that they feel as if you know about, if you were to know all the details about this, you would not accept their offer. So I see someone coming towards you to offer you a connection, but there's definitely some, 
some secrets here. Tell me more about this moon. Seven of Cups, confusion. Not quite sure what to do or how to go about ending a situation in their life. It's almost like this person would like to bypass a situation. Like they're having a hard time understanding what's going on here. Okay, they're having a hard time bringing something to a full circle, a close. And they're very confused because they're with someone else, but they want you. Okay, we got strong Pisces energy, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini's here, Leo, Earth energy, okay. So, what are their next actions toward Aries? What are their next actions toward Aries? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. They're not ready to give up the other situation because they're uncertain if you are fully invested in this. That's the thing. Like, this is the kind of person that is going to want to jump from one situation to another. So it's like they need to know where you stand with them before they completely close out something they've already worked toward. Okay. Uh, their next actions, three of pentacles, seven of pentacles. It's, it's an energy of figuring out if you're fully invested in them or not. So there's communication coming your way from this person, possible earth energy. So I see questions. I'm just getting like somebody wanting to ask you a question. What's the question? What's the question they want to ask Aries? What's the question they want to ask Aries? They want to ask you that even though you found out about something or even though they messed everything up that they, they want to know, are you still willing to create with them? Are you still willing to be with them? Even though they, because it says, I, I know I messed everything up. And it also says, I watch your social media. And we have judgment at the bottom of the deck. This person wants to know if you can overlook things that they have done in the past. What's Aries advice? The deception. They want to know if you can overlook the deception, but the problem I have is they're coming through with more deception. And the deception is them leaving you in the dark about what's really going on in their life, but they don't want to miss out on an opportunity with you. But they're afraid if they're completely open and honest with you, Aries, then you're going to have, you know, they're afraid that if you're presented with all the facts, then you're going to make a certain judgment call that doesn't play in their favor. And so this is the kind of person that truly does feel as if they have to lie. They have to be deceptive to get what they want. And they're wanting to know if you're going to give them that chance, okay, to prove that they're not who they have been. And they have been deceptive, but they feel they're justifying the deception considering their circumstances. So it's really all up to how you perceive the situation.
but they want to fix it. The Ten of Wands is clearly them wanting to fix this, okay? And I feel like their question they want to ask you is, are you going to let them fix it? Are you going to let them show you another side of them? What's Aries' advice? Ace of Swords. Be sure you're thinking clearly, okay? Your advice here is to, uh, you know, make sure you're thinking clearly. We have this Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Don't kind of jump to any sort of conclusions, all right? Why the Ace of Swords? But the Ace of Swords is all about that communication. So your advice here is to communicate with this person, but also make sure you have all the facts and make sure you are also asking questions and be direct in your communication because this person's coming through to communicate. Don't be afraid to walk away from a situation that's just not giving what you want it to give. Okay, I'm not saying it won't, but we have this Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords. You've clearly had a lot on your mind that you've wanted to say to this person. So your number one advice is to say it. Get it off your chest, okay? Don't be afraid of hurting this person. Okay, especially with the hermit here, they withdrew from you. Don't be afraid to hurt this person when they come back. Don't be afraid to run this person off because some of you Aries may be afraid to speak truthfully and clearly and set boundaries because you're afraid that it might scare this person off again. It's not going to. Okay, but you have to be truthful and you have to be direct because you've had a lot you've been wanting to say and you're going to get the chance to say it. So your advice is to be direct and communicate what it is you're wanting to say to someone and don't be afraid of them disappearing again. Don't be afraid of the situation coming to an end. Don't be afraid of hurting this person. Let's see. I'm going to pull you a surrender card. What does Aries need to surrender? The Aries that are dealing with this situation. What does Aries need to surrender, please? It says surrender to trust. It says trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So your guides are wanting you to trust yourself and your ability to make decisions for your life, uh, not only in other aspects of your life, but also in this situation. Okay, Aries, those are your messages. If this gave you clarity, I do appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, bye.